Hey, what's up guys? It's Toothy DeerWright with DeerWright TV, and today we are going to be looking at the promotional animation stuff for uh, Unturned Console Edition. Since I myself am an animator and a 3D modeler, and, and I actually learned coding like a month ago, so I know C Sharp now. And I'm making a game, it's kinda cool. Before this video starts, by the way, uh, Tales of the Interned Episode 2 is going to be uh, coming out very soon. Sorry for the huge delay on it, but it's gonna be worth the wait, 100%. Like, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. But first off with all this, I wanna talk about, um, basically, don't be mad at Nelson. He did get another company to port over the game, and I really don't think he could've done it on his own. So he kinda needed, like, a, an actual publisher to uh, do it. Not to mention that the publisher is actually probably one of the best that he could've chosen, since uh, most of them would probably want the entire rights to uh, the PC version as well. So I think he really made the best choice for not only him, but also us. Since you can't really do that for free, um, that's why the game is not free to play. It's uh, It's got the $30 price tag, but it is actually worth it since uh, gold and stuff, it basically comes along with it. And also, all cosmetics are bought with like an in-game currency from what I've heard. It's actually very reasonable. At least it's not like a $60 game. I mean, come on. <laughs> Plus with the art style, I really don't think Nelson had too much of an input on it since, I mean, it has to go up to industry standards and all that and, I mean, whatever those are. Uh, no. <laughs> if you love Unturned, just get console edition. Like, the trailers and promotional stuff, it does not do it justice. Like, it is still Unturned. In fact, it's like Unturned from an alternate universe. It's really interesting. And I'm just gonna buy it for that fact. If it was just the same old Unturned, I really, I'm not sure if I would have bought it, but like, I don't know. Literally the only actual problem with the game itself that I have is the trees kind of look like free assets from the Unity store, and some of them are really blocky like Minecraft, and it just none of the trees like actually match with, with just each other in general, it's really odd. But yeah, I recommend everyone, if you like Unturned, just just buy Console Edition. It it's it's really interesting. It's it's and it's just kind of funny in general. I don't know. It's <laughs> it's Unturned. Also, PC Unturned is always going to be free. Same with Unturned too. That's also going to be free, so we can still play Unturned. Anyway, let's start off with the promotional images. This is the first one that I ever seen on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> there's. There's a bunch of people, for some reason, the farmer zombie does not have a hat, that's a huge thing with this version for some reason, the farmer zombies don't have hats, despite the model being made. Also the guy uh, who stole the farmer hat from every single NPC farmer zombie in the game, he has a nerf Armstrong, as you can see. And this is in the Elite series too, so it's pretty good. You could also notice that um, part of this is actually the modeling and animation and and the stuff in the back is kind of a screenshot from in-game kind of layered over each other as you notice the chef guy scientist i'm just gonna call him the yelp reviewer um <laughs> you could see around the gun the blue there uh i think they tried doing a chroma key thing and just kind of forgot that the thing is, is this looks like it's all done in blender and you can render with transparency why wouldn't they do that you don't have to like chroma key anything you can render with transparency. Another thing, uh, no one's driving the tank. That's, um, that's kind of weird. Also, none of these clothes, I think, are from actual 3.0. I think, I think I heard someone say they were from the Nevada Project. Um, that was cancelled? I don't know. Also, with the clothes on the zombies, you kind of see, like, there's some clipping issues with the clothes, but I feel like they just threw the texture on the model, so maybe they're just, like, supposed to be, like, ripped clothes, and farmer zombie just, like... If you look, if you look at the farmer zombie, that kind of looks like a Roblox shirt. Also, uh, the title itself, you got the guy T posing. That's very cool. Moving on, this is another one. This is actually from the official Xbox website. I thought this is a fan edit. Here you can see there's a new extra character from the farmer guy. He is in the exact same pose, so there was a copy and paste and retexture. He's even holding the same gun. That's also a recolor. So he's holding the Nerf Maverick, as you can see. This is also a very odd picture because the zombies in the back, one of the zombies is holding a gun. The And he's holding it by the stock. If, if the zombie's gonna hold a gun, he's gotta at least hold it right. It also doesn't have a magazine. I don't know why none of these guns have magazines. But bonus points to the zombie wearing a toque. I don't know, the zombies also don't have the weird smoothing effect, right? At least the one on, at least the one of the toque doesn't. 
and it just kind of looks weird. It's just like actual unturned zombies mixed in with these weird characters. Also, the lighting on the guy with in the back there, that other new guy, he, uh, that, is, that doesn't fit at all. That is so weird. And also, isn't that, I think they copied and pasted the same guy from inside of the truck because he's wearing the same jacket. Man, this is just a really weird sight. I really love it. <laughs> okay, so I think it's time we move on to the trailer itself, which is, um... I think the first official animation for Unturned, which is kind of sad. <laughs> what is that walk to the fence? It's like moonwalking, like, what the? The freaking pig has a better walk cycle. What? Also, with the game itself and the trailer, there's this really weird smoothing effect. And I can only explain it as, uh, looks really lazy with, uh, the modeling. Here, I'll, uh, I'll open up Blender and, uh, import one of the models from in-game, and I'm gonna recreate the console edition models. <laughs> okay, so here I am in Blender. I am going to speedrun making these, uh, look like the console version. Uh, starting off with the off-roader. First, just gotta da 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 uh, by distance, da, da, da. you know what, just, nah, and then, by distance, okay, uh, select that, that should be the entire body, and then, bevel everything, uh, looks, looks accurate. Okay, here we have the sedan. Again, I probably could have put more effort into it because all you have to do is select each e edge, actually. I don't know, I'm, I'm lazy. Uh, here we have the character. Uh, the head itself it has a lot more geometry and all that, so I'm going to not bevel that because that will just look like a horrifying nightmare. Uh, there we go. Just by distance and quick bevel. And, oh yeah, I totally forgot, you have to turn off auto smoothing. There we go, that's basically the character. But I think it even looks a little bit more accurate with that smoothing on. Uh, but yeah, basically, yeah, it's boom. Uh, and last is the objects, and I, I don't think in the trailer, uh, hang on, in the trailer it's actually kind of more like, uh, that with, uh, I think I got a picture here. As you see, the window is more square and the roof is really kind of stretched out. Uh, so the model has obviously been horribly stretched. Uh, and I think that kind of looks like there's actually like an extra thing there. The barn isn't even like. I think the barn is not even like the original model. But uh, do that. And I know, not in the trailer, but in the actual game, all the objects, uh, appear to have the normals. Like, it's, uh, all UV editing, uh, just move that there, boom, you got the barn, it's a little bit, a little bit, kinda, I'll say, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just, it's just to get a point across, but, Boom! You got the barn. <laughs> I just noticed this from slowing down the footage, but uh, the eyes and mouth disappear to switch out to the other faces, <laughs> and it's spooky. I know Sir Addy pointed this out, but I was playing this video too, so... The zombies... Like... They're not supposed to have hair, that's kind of part of the lore, at least the lore in my story. At least in my fanfiction, it's the lore. Aside from all the uh weird weapons that he just pulled out and the unnecessary changing of clothing and the uh, lack of items dropping on the ground due to the change of slots uh the weirdest thing in this entire trailer is the radio one it's the most normal unturned looking thing ever along with i guess that hammer uh, but it's just like there's no smoothing effect on it it just kind of stands out it's really weird but also are those nails on the board that's some that's some cool detail like 
<laughs> I, I always have mixed feelings about this trailer, but like they're, they're, they're always like showing off different things. It's really cool. Someone turned up the thick blooding skill. No way, that's warm blooded. My bad. Okay, you kind of see that the trees are all different in this scene. Like, aren't they supposed to be blocky in the actual game? And those are completely different trees from the actual game itself and all the other promotional stuff that we have seen. That's just kind of really weird. Uh, also, the barn is like off texture uh and also what is with that canadian flag jpeg that is not at all what it's supposed to look like also another thing aren't the clouds supposed to be blocky because those are those are the actual like pc 3.0 clouds those are not what they look like in game and this is the launch trailer some of the promotional stuff even had the clouds properly Wh why why this trailer what what are with these inconsistencies as Sir Addy said but i was also gonna say it but that is the most accurate driving in unturned they 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 nailed that though the um the seats look a little different also that guy is taking up like both slots in the car can you even have passengers in that or are you like inside of each other what the hell also good thing he's wearing a helmet because i mean like that bar is so low like you would smash your head on that that just looks like a unity asset store tree i mean like in game the pine trees also look like that but like what are with the trees in this? Why can't they just decide on the trees? Also, that pig. What the hell? That kitchen. Aside from being a real life image or a stock photo. And despite the character being completely off scale and tiny, there's a rubber glove just sitting on the counter. Do we look like we have fingers? That, that jungle just looks like the blurry reflection like image on Blender. Also, that arm. That arm is... What, what is that arm? Also, yeah, there's the clipping there, but what's going on with the entire arm? And is that Wonky Talkie just kind of like floating? And was he trying to talk into it? But he's like listening at it at the same time at like a weird angle. Why are the zombies' faces so far up the head? It looks like they have a massive chin. This is Canada, not America. Those rocks there are not textured. If they're supposed to be rocks, I don't know. Maybe it's snow. <laughs> Another thing. The power lines are also not textured, like, properly. Also, now the zombies don't have hair. I know you, you could have seen it earlier, but in this shot you can see there's a blue tracker, and that indicates that uh, the Coalition has officially given up and decided to become farmers for the rest of their lives. Those explosions! Th those are just, like, spheres with just emission attached to them. Also, those rocks are now floating. Okay, aside from the helicopter actually having glass, and aside from it being camo, which actually looks really cool, not gonna lie, this guy, who was clipping earlier, clips right through the helicopter. I caught that, like, first thing. I was, like, the first clipping thing that I actually spotted. Also, in this trailer, there is no hitting sound for the zombie. You hear the weapon swing. You hear the death sound from the zombie, but there's no, like, like, slice attack sound. Okay, you see here, the zombies' faces are now back to normal. What happened earlier? Let's see how many clipping issues are actually in this scene. Starting from the top, you can see that zombie right there go through the telephone pole. You can see that zombie literally right beside it go through a fence. You could literally see this zombie walk right through one of the road fence things. And you can also see this zombie walk right into the tractor. That is... Hmm... Whew. That was the unturned console trailer. That was just all the errors that I wanted to throw in. There were so many others. I do recommend watching Sir Addy's video. He also does... He, he also points out a whole bunch of things that I like... I just didn't want to bother throwing in because I found my own things to throw in. But anyway, this, um... This was really a, an odd, odd trailer. It really, really is. It's... I really love it. I honestly wouldn't want another trailer any other way. It's just too funny. It really is. Unturned console edition is still unturned. So, and despite the animation itself having so many inconsistencies, the game is not going to be like that. So buy the game if you love Unturned and you want to support it. And also just if you want Unturned on console, like, my only actual problems with the Unturned console edition itself is the UI kind of looks bad with the HUD, but it also kind of looks good with the inventory, I kind of like it. And also the trees, they just kind of look weird. 
It's just a little sad though. Um, the promotional stuff is just so horrendously bad and ugly. It just, it really doesn't do the game like any justice. It's just, it's sad. There's a lot of people who like are gonna like look at this and like not want to get it. But I, I hope like a lot of people actually do get it because I think it's gonna be worth it. Because I, I think it's worth it. And it supports the creator, it does all that. You're still gonna get an unturned experience, and if not, even more of an experience, because it goes more towards survival anyway. And that's what the trailers did do right, was they showed the survival aspect. They didn't show any PvP, they just showed survival, because that's what the game is about. A lot of the community made into PvP, uh, mostly, but it is a survival game. That's, end of the day, that's what it is. That's what it was meant to be, and that's what it is. The one thing though, it is better than Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I will say that. It is so much better than Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Because at least you can still play it, and there's not a million different things changed and broken and awful, mainly redstone. So yeah, when I get the money, I'm gonna buy Unturned Console Edition. For sure. This is amazing. This officially makes Unturned for sure like a proper game now. It's on console, it, it's officially a proper game, and this is a big day. 100%. Like, this is a really good day for Unturned. A really funny one, but a really good one. And besides, if, um, if enough people buy it, they might update it and make it even better. So I have high hopes for this. Even with the style looking really weird, it does make it look different enough from the PC version to the point where if you're looking for an unturned video, you're gonna see what is console edition and what is PC. Unless people keep just reusing the same images over and over again. Also, a 3D muzzle flash. That looks cool, but it's kinda weird. Why is there no emission on it? Why is there shadows on the muzzle flash? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, if you want to see an actual decent unturned animation, I recommend checking out Tales of the Unturned. Right now there's only one episode, but episode 2 is going to be coming out in a couple of weeks. So subscribe to get notified for whenever that happens. I don't do videos uh, like this at all usually. Like It's only going to be like Tales of the Unturned and some other animations that I work on. Lastly, I want to mention that I now have some merchandise for this channel. The one design that I have on here is the Seppuku Waffles uh, shirt. What Seppuku Waffles basically is, is a restaurant that's going to be in Tales of the Unturned. It's basically like an IHOP, but it's only waffles, and there's many options to choose from, and also here's some pictures of Paul Fest wearing some of the shirts. He's the voice actor of Joel from Tales of the Unturned. He bought the premium hoodie and it looks pretty amazing. I will also be having some shorter animations as well based on Tales of the Unturned in between episodes. Just like one or two, I think. A little commercials, it's gonna be kinda cool. The first one's gonna be of the Seppuku waffles. 